In terms of insulin therapy, there's several, di several different insulin regimens that you could go for. You could have a patient on multiple daily uh, basal bolus injections, the basal being a short or rapid acting insulin, and the bolus being an intermediate or long acting insulin. And this is really the gold standard because you're mimicking how the body essentially works. And the body ha produces a small amount of insulin as a background insulin. And then when you're eating a meal with carbohydrates, you have a larger amount of insulin that's produced by your pancreas. This can be uh, several, several injections during the day. So it can be multiple injections. Sometimes it could be as many as 10 injections a day if a patient snacks a lot. Um, so it has to be taken into consideration, uh, but at the same time, it's the gold standard. Uh, it, you can also have mixed biphasic insulin. This is where you use an intermediate acting, acting insulin, which is uh, combined with a short acting or rapid acting insulin. And this will be taken, generally taken twice daily. Uh, intermediate acting insulins are generally taken twice daily. There's a lot of limitations with mixed biphasic regimens because it's completely dependent on how much the patient eats every day. There's an assumption if a patient has the same amount every day that they eat the same amount of carbohydrates every day, which is just ridiculous and not true. Um, so there are a lot of limitations. That's why it's not particularly the, the go-to regimen um, for a patient with diabetes. You've also got a continuous subcutaneous insulin infusion pump. Um, this is the insulin pumps that are a lot more common now. Uh, common question I ask to uh, students that I'm delivering these sessions to is how many different types of insulins do you think are contained in an insulin pump? And people give me a variety of different responses. The correct answer is one. Normally it's a rapid acting insulin that gives you a small amount every hour. And then when you tell it that you're having a meal, you you'll put in the amount of carbohydrates within that meal and then you'll get a bolus given to you. So that's a rapid acting insulin, very small device um, connected via cannula generally to can be several places. Generally the stomach uh, can be the buttocks um, and essentially that will deliver insulin as an infusion uh, for three days and then the cannula needs to be changed. Patients with type 1 diabetes should be offered multiple daily injection basal bolus regimens as a first line choice. Um, the first line choice for the basal should be twice daily insulin desimir uh, or once daily insulin glargine if they can't have insulin desimir or once daily insulin desimir if they can't have twice daily desimir or once daily glargine. There's one question that I want to ask. Why are we giving insulin detimir uh, twice a day when it's a long acting insulin and we understand long acting being once a day um, and it's a question that confuses a lot of people and really it just falls back on having an understanding of the way in which it works so if you look at this graph over here you will see that insulin detimir after 20 hours uh, the insulin effect tends to wear off and really the aim of doing it twice daily is um, splitting up that dose uh, so that you can, if you split up that dose, you can essentially ensure that after 20 hours, one particular dose of insulin, there is uh, the optimum amount of another dose. So it's ensuring you have coverage at all times. The other thing that twice, splitting it as twice daily allows you to do, which makes it very good as a first line, is you can really if the patient's got problems with hyperglycemia, hyperglycemia, so high blood glucose levels at night, you can tailor that dose, that nighttime dose, to be higher than the daytime dose. So it allows some tailoring between the doses, and this can prove to be quite effective. Uh, not as effective as using an insulin pump where you can tailor the dose every hour, but you can uh, tailor, dose, tailor dose to suit the needs of a particular portion of the day.